In today's episode, guys, can we continue our rebuild of our armies and decide where we want to go? We now have five armies in the field. So we've got to decide where are our expansion targets. Well, stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are back with another Epirus campaign video in RTR Imperium Serectum. Episode 30, guys. When this started, I did not think we would get to episode 30, and neither did I think that it would take this long to get all of Greece under our control. But we've got to be deciding what we're going to do with our five full stacks going forward. Now, that is going to be pretty fun, but of course... We're on episode 30, guys, and you know what that means. A toggle fog of war. So let's smash that out straight away. Let's see what the world map... And look at it. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Seeing all the different colors everywhere all around. Very nice to see indeed. No one really dominating too much from the looks of it, which is quite cool. Um, so we are going to have a look around. And if you do enjoy this content, guys, a like and a subscribe, of course would be massively appreciated. First of all, though, let's have a look at Nossos, because they have their full stack over here. But it looks like they've got pretty much nothing left on the island. <laughs> so that's quite funny. Oh, they've got another full stack attacking the Ptolemies. Very nice indeed. And the, uh, the goddamn uh, Rhodians are attacking the Ptolemies too. Go on, Rhodes. That is chaos over here. Look at this. Everyone that has popped out. We've got the uh, Chrysaurian League. We've got Militus over here too with an absolute stack of troops. Don't want to be fighting that anytime soon. But that does allow us to think that we are going to be on the right path by coming down here. Oh, I forgot about you. Go into that. Yep. <laughs> Notice things sometimes, guys. Um, but yeah, the Ptolemies. Oh my god. The Lycian League. It's quite a lot of troops you've got there, my friends. I think that might be causing crashes sometime soon. So I think we know where to look if crashes do start. Um, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's pretty funny. We've also got the Silesians over here that also have quite a few armies. Jesus Christ. All these uh, emergent factions are just pumping out troops like no tomorrow. That is insane. Pergamon does still exist, but the Ptolemies are pretty much wiped off the face of Anatolia. They've got very few left. They've still got Cyprus. And down here it looks like status quo. No, there is there has been some trading between the uh the Ptolemies and the Seleucids, but uh not a huge amount. Nabatea does still exist. Not like they've expanded very much, like one or two settlements, maybe. And the Ptolemies have taken one of their other settlements as well. So yeah, not doing amazing. Kush pretty much dominates down here, which is cool to see. But I don't think they will have taken anything from the north, looking at it. Uh, these are some pretty big provinces over here. So, yeah. I can't even see any Kush armies. Like, where are their settlements? Where are their armies? <laughs> There's an army there. There's an army there too. But, yeah, judging on it, they don't look like they're going to attack the Ptolemies. Um, the Saba over here, they are doing okay, but yeah, not amazing. They are by themselves out in the middle of nowhere, so that is to be expected. But let's have a look at Anatolia then. As we can see, the Silesians have, um, gone pretty far. Cappadocia is on its last legs because of the Silesians, which is kind of insane. Nice to see the pirates doing well. Um, really cool. And uh, obviously the Lycians are going mental. We may have to kill them off manually at some point if they're causing crashes. Uh, but Seleucids, still pretty strong. Byzantium has gone a bit mental, though. Look at this. Gone all the way. Taking the Galatian lands, which is kind of crazy. Pontus looks decent, but on the back foot. And uh, what do we have over here? We've got Trapezus expanded slightly. Um, Cappadocia does still actually have quite a lot of land over here, but look at Trapezus go. Very nice to see. Armenia is doing fine. Not really expanding too much, but they have a lot of settlements, actually. Same thing for, an, uh, um, what are they called? Atropatine. They're doing fine, but looks like they're probably on the back foot from the, uh, Seleucids and the Armenians, really. 
Up in the far north, the Parthians are pretty much stable as they have done, have been for the last couple of times. Not taking too much land. They are going after Bactria, though. So the Bactro per Parthu war has started. The Bactrians are going far north here to try and take out the Sarkarauka all the way up here. But the Sarka really don't look like they've got much. Like, look at that. They've got these two armies. Is that it? Interesting. Bactria's come and snaked all the way over here. Oh, it looks, it looks like the Sarka have this one province over here. No idea how they got that, but fine. India, pretty much just exactly the same. Nothing we can really say. They've got a lot of armies around here, as you can see, but um, finding it hard to get through the mountains. Guess they need a Hannibal or a Napoleon to help them out there. The Scythians, they are pretty much dead. Look at this. They have done nothing. The Bosporans have been expanding quite a lot, taking out Chers and Essos, expanded up in the north quite a bit. That's not what you want to be doing, Bosporans, I've got to say. That's not the land that you really want. We do have Olbia existing still over here, but for how much longer? Histria is about to die, but Pontic Pentapolis has gone ham. Look at that. The uh, the Dacians, do they still exist? No, the Gete look like they are dead, very dead. And Pontic Pentapolis is going mental. Like, absolutely mental. Look at the amount of land that they have now. Look at all those borders. So, in here, we have the Tribali, which I guess we don't need to be scared of then, because there's not much of them. So, we've got the Tribali. We've got the Idrisians too. So, the Idrisians have carved out quite a bit of a kingdom over here. So, if we fight the Idrisians, that is fine. It looks like it's not going to be too bad, because they really don't have that much left. Pontic Pentapolis, which is our ally, of course is pushing against them. So I really don't think it's going to be too bad. I do think Pontic Pentapolis will attack us though. <laughs> and if they take this land off Byzantium, that'd be actually be quite good. If we just square off this whole region, that'd be pretty nice. The Scordisci have carved themselves out a supremely large empire in the Balkans and into Hungary. Yeah, that, that's pretty scary, I'm not going to lie. Not really something we want to get involved in. The RDAI still do exist. They seem to be doing okay. They are our allies, after all. Uh, and they seem to be fighting off the Skordiski. So if they can maybe push back the Skordiski from our borders, that would be very, very nice. The Romans are still over here. But look at this. The Boyai over this way. They have joined up their land. <laughs> that is amazing. And the Romans are sort of encroaching on them pushing them around but yeah they have joined up their land as for the Massaliotes and the romans massalia is pretty much dead at this point but the romans are hiding in northern italy look at this guys this is all syracuse yes this is all syracuse so if we are going into rome we are going to be fighting syracuse in fact that kind of makes me want to invade Rome over here, up to Ancon, potentially even Rome itself. Rome is bordering Syracuse now, because Rome is very weak now, and Syracuse is not weak, and I would prefer Syracuse to continue pushing against Rome, and then we can turn on them later. But whether we do that or not, let's just see what happens with our situation. Carthage has taken a long time like how many turns are we into the game like 126 turns into the game and Carthage is still not taken out in the Numidians <laughs> Carthage you are a constant disappointment to me I've got to say <laughs> as you are the Romans too um over here Carthage still has southern Spain but for how long I don't know I think the Spanish do have better roster Spain is just pretty much split between the three Spanish tribes. There's nothing really to see there too much. But um, Emporion. Emporion has carved out a Gaul <laughs> a Gallic Empire over here in the south. That's insane. I've never seen that before. Bordering the Allobrogues, of course. But yeah, the Allobrogues are doing okay. But out of all the Celtic tribes, you've got to say, both the Belge and the uh, Adui... Look to be doing pretty well. Look at the amount of land the Belge have. Brave start the Belge. They have an insane amount of land. I don't think they're going to have a problem 
against the Arverni or the Adui. The Germans over here, it's more messy. Look at the uh, the Kimbri. They've lost this settlement, which I'm sure <laughs> was owned by them last time we saw. So they're really in a bit of a mess at the minute. Same thing with the Chatty. They are starting to get pushed back. The Suebi are pretty much nearly dead. The Lugii are doing relatively well, but pushing into the sparsely populated east, which is not going to provide them a lot of money. And it looks like they may be at war with the Boyai, but I'm not 100% certain. And, of course, the Britons are just being terrible. <laughs> Great. Well, I think that uh, concludes everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, voyage into the previously unknown. Um, so, yeah, I don't think there's anything to do this turn. So let's end the turn there, guys, and let's see where we get to. And Nossos has declared war on us. That's quite a good excuse to go after them then, isn't it? And we've also been besieged down by the Idrissians, but like I said before, I don't think the Idrissians are going to be too scary for us from now on. That's going to be a draw-out battle, so that'll be very nice to do. Let's just pop there for a second. That is a terrible army. That is the one we fought last time, wasn't it? Let's have a look. We do have some civil, dis civil disorder. Stratos... Yeah, that's that's quite unhappy, isn't it? Um, can we spare anything? Like, Leprion, do you have some spare troops? Yeah, but you can't actually reach there. Well, we could swap in some guys there. That's 45%. Not ideal. <laughs> um, besieged by a few people. Marinea got bribed. Are you kidding me? After the blood that has been spilt for this region... They have the cheek to bribe us. Well, that is incredibly annoying. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro. Bro. <laughs> really? <laughs> let's have a look now at what we can train. Well, we're going to be able to train some light lancers soon. So let's leave that be for now. Um, apparently, we got a new blacksmith or something in here. So let's retrain everyone. Let's carry on with the Thracian boys because, like I say... We're going to make a full Thracian Rosta. Let's also go for that Temple of Dioscuri some more too. Um, so that was Bylazor. Stobi is still going with the Paeonian Cavalry, which is decent. So we're going to have the army ready very soon. That's going to be fantastic. Um, let's also make sure that we are building here. We are. We're building in Bylazor too, and we're building there. Fantastic. Very good to see, my friends. Very good to see. Well, this army is ready to go. Was it both of these guys, or was it just Archilochus? Huh, why have we got two generals in this army? In this army. Ah, these guys didn't get retrained. Ah, well, that's a little bit annoying. That's going to delay us somewhat, but not too much. Just pop them behind. There we go. Not too much, unless we have some ready already, which I don't think we do. Well, this army, Anchises, my friend. Hmm. So this army here, right? So let's let's just think about this for a second. I, I've got to do this, otherwise I get really confused. So this army is going to go after Nosos. It's going to kill that once we've taken this. On Get on those ships, sail to the island, kill this army. Then it's going to sail to Nosos. And I think we only need one army for Nosos. We've got a secondary army here, led by Alexander, of course. Alexander the Cruel, which is a bit mean, I think, as a name for him. Um, we could do with another navy, though. That would be very useful. So I think that's what we're going to do now. Because, Alexander, my friend, you are going to go across the narrow sea. <laughs> and you are going to go. And I think I've decided what we're going to do with... Um, with Sicily and with Syracuse. So what I think we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take Sicily first. So we're going to land on Syracuse, take their homeland, maybe not burn it to the ground, but occupy it at least. Take that, build a recruitment hub there while we go and take more islands. And we can then go from the south into the north. And of course, uh, Pyrrhus was the king of Sicily at one point. So it is again for Pyrrhus... Uh, Pyrrhus's benefit and his legacy, something that we are reforging for him, uh, potentially. So that is both this army and 
this army here. So that is two armies we are going to send across there. So that means we've got this army here that we don't really know what to do with at the moment. We could send three armies into Sicily, but that seems overkill. Now, in the north, we have, of course, this Thracian army getting ready to go. We've got this army here, and we've also got this army. So, potentially, I'm thinking then, if we send across you, Anchises, you can fight off the Seleucids too. So that'll be three armies, four armies in the north. That's fine. It's a lot to commit to, but we can still get some very rich land across here if we play our cards right. A bit annoying that we did get bribed, though, <laughs> at Marinea. Um, and I think, honestly, like, what are you doing, though, Permenion? You're 34. I think Archilo Archilochus is the general here. Well, we were going to attack that army, so let's wait to do that. We'll do it with this army. Might as well. This guy can move on to uh, Syracuse. Uh, not Syracuse. Seleucids. <laughs> And then this army, of course, is just going to fight in the north against the Adrissians. Potentially the Scordisci if needed. But I think we're going to push against the Adrissians and see what happens. If Pontic Pentapolis attacks us, then we are going to go ham on them and take all of their land. Because up here, they don't really have borders with other people. So it's not going to be a continuous war. It'll be fine. And if we can square off this region, that will also be fantastic. So you're moving. You're there. You're waiting. Let's get you out then what do we need in this army we need another archer potentially would be good so i think we're going to get the army together at ambrakia do we have better no we don't have any better armor and stuff available here so oh we were getting that archer that's where the archer was um let's just replace it with a with well we can get an archer from there that's fine we're gonna have to wait two turns for the boys anyway you guys are in here we are just getting to the point now where we've got a lot a lot of uh, of troops and archers and, and uh, all that sort of thing, which is fantastic. It's really good. So I am very happy about that. Let's continue then with this army. And let's build potentially another Ambrachio. That'll be fine. Is Fenike building? Yes, it is. Fantastic. You guys are recruiting two. You guys are recruiting cavalry. And you are... Well, we can keep on going with more Thracian roster. I think we can do a hybrid Thracian and Phalangite roster. That'd be amazing. But anyway, let's go through the buildings then. Minor city over here of Antigone, Chionia. Um, we could go for the next temple of Aphrodite. I think we will do extra growth. We need to get some of these cities upgraded because it takes forever. We'll go for that temple of Aphrodite and Dodona there. Pharsalos. Hmm, Pharsalos not really necessary. Let's go for public baths. And then I think we'll go from the bottom. We are building quite a lot. Oreos over here. Let's build that market. Thebes over here too. Yeah, some of these places are very rich or will become very rich if we get the right buildings in them. So it is very good to build over here, of course. Corinth is doing very well, in fact. Um, I don't think there would be corruption here. There is no corruption. Good. I was going to say. So, yeah, Corinth uh, Corinth will be governed at some point, hopefully. So let's get the academy in there, just in case. Abdera needs to upgrade, so let's go with that. Sikion down here. Not making a huge amount, but still a decent amount. We need to continue the royal road down into the Peloponnese, so that is why I'm building that over here. Kythera, of course, is under siege, so let's leave that for now. Messene over here. Let's go for those public baths, get a bit more growth. Megalopolis, I am not 100% certain. Very high taxes in Megalopolis. That's fine. Not really anything here that's that worth building, is there? Maybe the grain imports, so let's go for that one. Aegeon as well, we've got 4% growth, so no point getting those grain imports for now. Sparta itself only makes 1,900, so it's not really worth building too much in there. I am Farina over here. Let's see. Uh, let's just get another happiness building. It allows us to put that up to very high, potentially. Now, Pactos over this way, too. That's also quite a rich area. So let's stick an academy in in case we govern it, which we are aiming to do, guys, by the way. Argos is raised to the ground. And, and that's one thing I forgot to mention last time. And thank you to whoever commented it. 
I will actually look between uh, between turns and, and see who commented it. But um, <laughs> someone commented, sweet victory. We've raised Argos to the ground. We've killed the Antigonids. Pyrrhus would be happy, yeah. And I failed to mention that we uh, raised Argos, like exterminated Argos a few times. So that, of course, is sweet revenge, really, isn't it, for Pyrrhus and that goddamn roof tile. I'm, I'm sure we got rid of all the roof tiles when we went in there. <laughs> Um, Same can go for that one. Fine. Imbros, anything we can do? Oh, yeah, Imbros is just p eternally unhappy. <laughs> right, let's do this battle, guys. Should be very, very quick and easy. Very nice. And it was Zero Suit Samus who uh, commented that, so thank you very much for the comment. Very appreciated. I do appreciate that. It's very funny. Um, but, yeah. Not the greatest battle map, but again, they won't have much. So I don't think we need to worry too much, but you never know. You never know, guys, do you? You never know against the Thracians. Well, here we go, guys. We are putting pressure on them. Remember, we do want to kill this unit. And it is Tralian Infantry, which is one of their best units that they've got. So, um, yeah, this is just going to be more annoying than anything else. We might have to just keep on pushing and see what happens with those De Gea and horse archers. You can see we're getting pretty shredded by their missiles now. Which is not ideal, honestly. So, I am fine to keep the uh, Cretan archers there. If we can get you guys forward, though. I want you to fire at the horse archers. They're the, they're the worst thing <laughs> to deal with. So, let's do that. Let's also bring you guys forward, too. Cavalry, we really don't want you getting killed by archers for no reason, but... Again, we can retrain this army pretty quickly. This shouldn't be a problem. So, um, here we go. We've got the Thracian Royal Bodyguards. They might charge, which would be good for us. So, let's keep marching forward. Again, the De 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 Dacian Horse Arch is actually not De Hayan. If we get over to the east as well, guys, fighting Pontic Pentapolis, we can get a Horse Archer army, which... <laughs> Oh, yes. The Horse Archer Army would be glorious if we could get that. Whether we can or not, though, is a different question. <laughs> well, looks like their general is just going to stand there while we march into him. So that should be fun. He's also getting loads of javis thrown at him. So, um, yeah. He runs. Well, that's a bit annoying, honestly. Um... That trolley and infantry, though, is going to be difficult to deal with. So, actually, cavalry, come around this way. We don't want to get stuck by them. But all they have left now is horse archers and some getic archers. Unless they've got anything hiding. I really don't think they do, though. Is this all they have? Like, are they going for the charge? If they're going for the charge, that's amazing. But I guess not. I guess not. Thought they were going to fire some jabbies. Looks like they might be actually going for the charge. Would be nice to kill those Tralians before they withdraw. So, um, let's just carry on marching up. Nothing really else we can do. Just marching and killing, my friends. <laughs> oh, and they did have people hiding. Like this Pionian cavalry. So, um, let's, uh, let's get it up against them. We're also going to bring these guys over this way, too, to deal with the Tralians. Are they finally going to charge us while we're turned around? Ooh, not quite. Right, let's, uh, let's get in here then and kill these Getic archers and everything. The Thracian slingers too. I knew they had something left. Whatever it was though, it wasn't much, was it? <laughs> uh, yeah, tiny little army to deal with. But we have lost a lot of men just to missiles, which is quite annoying. We're hopefully going to just hold the Tralians here because, of course, they are an insanely good unit. So let's get over there, guys. Let's get over there ASAP. And uh, let's kill those Thracian Slingers. I'm also going to bring you up this way. So you can fire on the Horse Archers for as long as possible. And yeah, this army isn't going to die. But we can probably auto-resolve the next time we fight against it. They've also got Hippocontistae here. Which is very annoying. But oh well. You guys get there. Let's uh, let's go for the Tralian Charge. I don't believe the Tralians are too good at taking a charge. I don't think they have a bonus versus cavalry, should we say. It's going to be hard for us to charge through the trees. As you can see, they're going very slowly. But, um, oh my god, that was that was nice. That was very nice. Very nice. Well, glorious victory, my friends. Nice. Well, there we go, guys. We actually lost a relatively large amount of men comparing to them. But still, it's a victory. Loads of people healed, actually. Well, actually, not that many. No, not really. Well, glorious victory, my friends. Well, they did manage to escape, so let's uh, siege down Idava. I think this army's still got a few decent battles left in it. 
Potentially taking Idava and then this one, just so Pontic Pentapolis can't get a hold of it. Uh, it's also a minor city, which is quite nice. Uh, this will also become a minor city sometime soon. So if we can just, like, create a line here of our land. Like, this is our land. Natural border of the river as well, which should be good. Um, that was Tribali, but it, it is Adrissian now. So, glorious. Well, um... Anything? Oh, there is this battle to do. I'm considering just auto-resolving this. Yeah. Like, we don't need to do these tiny little battles all the time, do we, guys? Let's uh, enslave this as well. Let's combine our troops then now. Um, a bit scuppered. Our plans are a little bit scuppered by the fact that, of course, um, Mantinea has been taken, which is just a little bit annoying. <laughs> Let's go for the Shrine to Dionysus. Let's also pop in this guy at least into there. 65%, that's fine. Let's also pop you, or we can maybe get one of you in there. No, you're getting stopped by that army. What? What the hell? We really had to do that all, did we? Well, we're going to go Thermon for retraining. And yeah, you can now actually get inside the settlement, so that's fine. Uh, but yeah, you're just gonna go for back for a quick retrain. Potentially don't 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 need it actually. Even after that auto resolve, I was thinking we would need it, but no. Well, we're gonna jump on those ships and try and beat this Nossian army. That'll be good. Uh, you're just waiting for your ships, so let's carry on with that. Anything else that we can do now? I'm not a hundred percent certain. These guys are getting. Uh, weapon upgrades now as well, which is pretty insane. They are going to be so OP when it comes around to it. Um, but I think that's everything, guys. So uh, let's end the turn there and let's see what happens. Well, now the GCS want a alliance and... Oh, no, this is Pontus, sorry. Pontus want an alliance of trade rights. I mean, oh, we'll take it. We'll take it. We, we need all... For, for having so long without alliances, we need all the help we can get, don't we, guys? Well, there goes Massalia. We saw them at their their, their last breath before. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. We're going to auto-resolve this one as well, guys. No point doing these tiny little sieges. Uh, we could do with that archer, though. What did we leave in here? We left the deuteroy, yeah. It's a little bit overkill with a deuteroy in there, isn't it? Um, but like I say, I don't want to take this off the Greeks. I would like to go straight for Cesarethos Cesar and sell that to the Greeks as a buffer state. Along with Mantinea. Sorry, not Mantinea. Marinea. Marinated. Marinated. Uh, let's get rid of that. That's another area over here that has ships. Uh, let's go for the Shrine to Dionysus. Did we have a civil result revolt then? No, we didn't. We just have Disorder. So, Orchomenos, Arcadia, that's fine. They're going to be happy sometime soon. Stratos, let's go. There's nothing else that can come in here that's going to give them happiness, actually. Hmm. Apart from that Temple of Dionysus. I'm happy to pop that in now, though. Uh, Imbros, again, Imbros, nothing we can really do about that. Orchomenos, Arcadia, yeah, that's fine. Lots of sieges, uh, settlements being besieged. But we have a lot of places also growing, which is great. Olympia, Oinidae, nice. And Odessa, Botilla, blah, blah, blah. Let's go with that one. And, uh, yeah, faction announcements. Quite a good thing here. Where was that wound? Oh, yeah, we Chirajuja, blah, blah, blah. Um, Allobroges have broken their alliance with the Romans. That's fine. Syracuse is allied with the Adui. I mean, that doesn't really matter. Um, right then. Anything of interest here. Scoopy got the cavalry stables. So we can maybe get this a bit quicker if we get the Pionian cavalry there. So let's pop in the Hippodrome too. Bylazora is still building. And so is Stoby. Very good. That army's nearly ready to go. You're going to go and hunt down these Adrissians because they have been annoying us for quite some time now these guys in larissa i think we can take five because like i say we don't want to take both of these generals this guy's younger and better so why would we take anyone else wait where did that general go 
Well, yeah, so we want to take five of the uh, the cavalry. So let's go with the five. Let's get you up here into there. You, youngling, can go away. You guys get in there. And then we're going to attack that army, which is the remnants of the Antigonids, guys. Remember that. You're going to attack them. You're going to just auto-resolve that because they've got literally nothing left. Zero casualties. Let's uh, continue to enslave up here. Although Idava was... What, didn't we own Idava at some point? Yeah, we've got paved roads here. So I do believe we did own it. We don't want the Shrine to die a scurry here. Definitely not. Uh, well, these guys... Let's see what we can do. Well, not happy, are they, if we leave? Could just leave a Greek hoplite behind, but the Greek hoplites, 52, it's not good. It's actually not very good. Let's see, is there any cheap mercenaries? No. Hmm. Well, we weren't we recruiting some garrison troops somewhere down here? No. I think the next thing we want to do then, let's build a recruitment hub in here. That will allow us to get these Illyrian warbands, which are cheap as hell. Have 122 men and can garrison all of these cities. I'm going to risk leaving it for now. This could also be a draw-out battle, so that could be another draw-out battle. They won't take that, though, surely, will they? No. So uh, let's siege down Sadiqa, which I think, believe we also owned at some point, did we not? Maybe not. I'm not I'm not 100% certain on that. Larissa has now upgraded. Fantastic. That is awesome. Really good. So we're going to have another army very soon. You guys are going to be ready to get on the ships. You are going to take Cesarathos. We also then really need to take back Maranea. This army is going onto these ships. You're getting off there. So we're going to have like three massive battles in a row now. So let's go for this one first. Not the healthiest of infantry, but I honestly don't think that they can stand up against our uh, Thessalian cav at all. What's inside the city? Oh, it's just a uh, Thuriophoroi. So yeah, let's smash this one. They have quite a decent roster, honestly. Cretan Slingers are not bad at all. So... Yeah, it's not going to be easy. A lot of missile cav. So, yeah, again, we are struggling to beat their missile cav with this. But I think we'll be okay, guys, won't we? So let's go. Well, we are on a foggy old battlefield, aren't we, guys? So we're going to have a really relatively fat formation as usual. And hopefully we can just tank all their shots as usual as well. But, um... Let's find out, shall we, guys? And they clearly think that they can beat us. And now that they're in missile range, we're going to get everyone to run. Going to see if we can go and engage them pretty quickly. I don't want to be... Uh, I don't want to be in range of their missiles for very long. So let's try and force them back. As you can see, the Akontisti are already getting forced back. They have a bit of a wider line than us. But, of course, we've got our Thuriophorite on the flanks. Looks like they're going to struggle here. There we go, boys. There we go. I don't know why they do that, you know. No, not everyone do that. Not everyone do that. Oh, my God. God damn it. No. <laughs> everyone just stand still, bro. <laughs> oh, fuck that. Fuck that by accidentally pressing there. Jesus Christ. That is very annoying. But uh, they've already got some Akontisti routing, so that should be fine. Like I say, we're going to keep them on guard mode because in this situation, they are there just to hold back the flanks and apparently they had their general in there somewhere it's quite foggy isn't it oh what is this hippies you bastards you will die my friends look at that look at that you really think that you can stand up against us you fools oh here comes another general though we're gonna have to kill him what is going on with these hippies surely we're gonna shred them there we go their whole front line has crumbled <laughs> wow I was not expecting it, them to crumble that badly. Kill that Greek general's bodyguard. More Hippies there. Wow, look at them. Look at them crumbling, my friends. I was not expecting this. was not expecting this. 
Let's speed it up then. We don't need to go so slow anymore. And, um, yeah, we should probably send someone off to charge, chase people down. Probably you. You can be in your own group. You guys can try and get rid of some of these hippies, but, um, yeah, judging by them, looks like they're going to just be chilling, um, unfortunately. So, yeah, where's the rest of the cav? Deal with them quite quickly. That would be ideal. Kill these guys. These guys are all fighting to the death, so kill them. That would be good. Let's go with that. We can also turn all these boys off guard mode now, so they get their attack order in and actually start shredding them. These guys just absolutely dominated a unit there, so let's go. Looks like they're gonna uh, they're gonna send some of their cav into our backs, which is fine. They've got all their cav on this side. Where's our unit? There we go. Go and kill them. That'd be fantastic. Whoop. We are spinning around quite a bit now. See if we can push these guys back against our lines, as usual. Fight that Tarantine cavalry. This guy might struggle actually, so it might be worth sending this boy up here to help them. So get on with that, guys. Get on with that. Also, the Athamanians, potentially. Would be nice to uh, to fight with them. Right, they're going for the big charge. They're going for the glory play, which is fine. Because I don't think they're going to be able to, to uh, withstand. I mean, this unit, though, is going to get shredded. But everyone else should get absolutely shredded, too. You guys go after them. You guys come here. Cavalry, get rid of these boys. Should be nice and easy. There we go. Should absolutely shred them. Where is this cavalry unit? Still having a good time chasing down the men. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Well, if that 304 doesn't want to do anything, that's fine by me. Let's keep on fighting these boys. Straight in those Tarantines, please, boys. Straight in the Tarantines, my friends. Bit messier than I was expecting, but honestly, I feel like this army, there's going to be enough of this army to uh, continue the push into... Uh, Anatolia. Not Anatolia. What? <laughs> Into Crete. Uh, right. Let's go. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Well, glorious, my friends. Glorious. Oh, well, I thought it was quite messy, but judging by that, it wasn't too messy, was it, my friends? Glorious victory. Let's go. Well, we've got no more movement points, so that's fine. That army has been fully destroyed now as well, which is awesome. He's also got a trait increase to good commander, our glorious Pyrrhos. What a man. What a glorious, glorious man, I've got to say. Um, and then we had lots more battles to do, didn't we? So that one's going to be quite interesting when we get to that one. Let's do this one then next. Should be easy, but you can never count out some noble cavalry and some Rumphiforoi from just creating chaos, can you? I'm loving the amount of experience we're getting with these new armies now with the Shrine to Dioscuri down there too. It's awesome. Really, really does help make our troops a lot more elite. But anyway, guys, Ankisi's the Wrathful, one of our newer commanders. Let's go. Oh, well, I thought they might have uh, deployed up here on top of the hill. So it looks like that's what we're going to be doing. So uh, let's march down the hill. And uh, let's get running, in fact. Let's try and see if we can uh, outmaneuver them, which is very unlikely because, of course, they are Thracians and everything in their army moves incredibly fastly. So, uh, yeah. Incredibly fastly? Incredibly fast. <laughs> well, here we go then, guys. Pushing up onto them now. If they charge, we will halt, but it looks like the Hippocontists die, so they're not going to. They do have three units of infantry somewhere, but I'm assuming hiding in the long grass. What was it? Romfire Foroi and something else, wasn't it? I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, are we in range of the Hippocontists now? We are, but here we go. Now we can see them. So we're just going to keep on pushing up. I don't mind them using all their ammo, because as you can see, it's not really done too much, has it? Oh, it's a long spearman. Because our guys now are pretty well armored. Um, we can maybe try and chase them off by doing this. But it's not going to do a huge amount. So let's keep on going. We've got a nice fat formation, haven't we, guys? So let's keep that up. That's their general just died just from javelins. <laughs> and the long spearmen have been absolutely shredded. Oh, yes. 
Carry on. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Let's keep on going. Nice and fat formation. Don't know what they're going to do. Could go for a cheeky little charge, maybe? Let's see if that works. Probably not. That is not a ravine, by the way, guys. It's just a shadow from the mountain. <laughs> so, yeah. Looks like we're not going to be able to do that. Oh, my God. The Runfai 4 Roy are just breaking, too. Keep on coming, guys. Keep on coming. So, I don't know what they're going to do because they can't withdraw. So, yeah. Strange. We'll just get these guys coming upwards. What are you? More Runfai 4 Roy. Good. Looks like they're going to go for a cheeky charge. Turn, boys. Should be nice and easy to kill all these Hippocontistae. There we go. Lost like three men or something. That's fine. We're going to take you off. Garbo. Oh, they, they broke. They literally got touched and they broke. Kill these guys. They killed no one on the charge. So I think we need to go kill the uh, Noble Cavalry now. That'll be excellent. And then all we have left is one or on fire for Roy. That's looking a little bit juicy. That's it. I don't think we will fully kill this army just because the amount of cav they have. But there we go. Well done, AI. Just leaving your men there to get broken. That's what we like to see. Right, straight into those boys. And we can speed this up now. Well, that was a nice and easy victory. And actually, they might be fully killed, which will be amazing. Because they've just been quite annoying the whole time, haven't they? <laughs> but anyway, let's leave it there, guys. Fantastic. And with this army, with Anchises, let's go and see if we can reclaim Maranea. That would be glorious. Keep on going down the road, my friends. And let's see if we can beat that army too. Looks like it's quite damaged, so that's good. Enemy army routes for Anchises the Wrathful. That one we don't have to do. Ah, we've got this battle to do against Clisthenes over here. And judging by it, it's a pretty darn good army, isn't it? Look at that, guys. All got silver uh, silver weapons and armor, too. Lots of phalangites, so enough to rival us. But uh, we should just have enough army for this, really, I think. We should just have enough men, really. Uh, so let's go kill the rebels. And remember, we just need to rout these guys and the army will die. So that'll be glorious. Let's go. Well, this is definitely a battle we want to take slow, guys, rather than move too fast. So we are just going to be marching up slowly. Now, again, normally when they do this with their Akontistai, they just get, like, a bit um, screwed. Um, so, yeah, we're going to keep on going nice and slowly. Don't run, man. Don't run. And maybe we'll actually engage some of these units in combat if they carry on being stupid. There goes their general. Halt, men, halt. We don't want to march through this. So let's go. We've got to keep a nice line as well. That's the main thing. Ideally, we'd like to keep a nice line. That's one of their generals dead. Good. So now we can move these guys up there. Also want to keep you guys behind. So get there just in case we're not keeping you behind. And yeah, they haven't really brought anyone of interest into the fight yet. The 304 cavalry is going for a charge, which is dumb. But yeah, this should not be a problem. They've got the Royal Peltas there, of course, which is uh, not amazing. But yeah, what are they doing? Like, why not attack all at once? Like, this is kind of strange. They're just letting us kind of dictate the battle if they do this, which is fine. I mean, it's good for us, but I'm just saying, like, from the AI's perspective, they are just letting us just do what we want here. So, yeah, whatever. Let them do that. Let them do that. We'll win. <laughs> And we, we are right in the city ready for retraining too, aren't we, guys? So, um, yeah, without their general, though, looks like they're going to be uh, a little bit shaken. Get in the back of them and maybe we can route them and then move the, f the line further up. Like I say, because of their uh, decent troops, it's probably not worth doing anything crazy like this because now we're going to get charged by the Thessalian cavalry. Hmm. Not ideal, that. Not ideal. Well, let's uh, see if they enjoy a charge from our Thessalian cavalry. I think that's the option here. Also, you guys, you guys potentially, let's keep the line nice and together, but we are going to move up. So we're going to get our cavalry onto the left flank. Let's uh, also get them on attack orders. I do want to actually keep them on guard mode, though. Do I if they do that? That's a bit annoying. <laughs> 
Looks like my poor um, guys are going to get slightly overrun. There we go. Nicely in the fight now. Right. Let's uh, let's go slightly further round two. Looks like they're bringing over you Zonoi and stuff, but that should not be an issue. There we go. Fight the Thurio 4 right? Like I say, those guys are on guard mode just to hold the sides here. You two, actually, you three just get that Uzonoi. Uzono, I always say that. Uzonoi out the way. And like I say, all we need to do here is just route the men. So can we kill that Thurio 4 Roy guys? Potentially. We should have been able to route that Uzonoi. Good. Good, 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 good. Right, Cav. Straight backwards then. We don't want to engage a Phalangite in the fight. You guys fight the Royal Peltas. Fight, fight, fight. Kill them. And we're keeping the lines together. Like I say, it's the best option for us at the minute. Especially when they've got Phalangites everywhere. So, yeah. We're going to potentially bring our cavalry back. Just because uh, the uh, they will tend to just follow us if we, if we don't do that. Although it would be nice to... Uh, let's get two of the units here. I mean, we can go and engage that Thurio Foroi cavalry, actually. We'll group you separately. That should be nice. It'd be nice to get a cavalry in here just to chase off some of their uh, missile troops over here, for example. Let's get into the Akontistai then. These guys are bringing their Phalangites now, so we can surround them. What do we have here? Where is their Hetairoi, by the way? I didn't see their Hetairoi. There's Tarantine Cav. I wonder whether we can engage those guys. There comes the Hetairoi. It looks like they were engaged in combat before. And struggled a little bit. Can we touch them? No. Well, get the Greek Slingers then. That'll be fine. You guys come round to uh, to flank. These guys are going to turn you off guard mode and attack. Same with you. And then you can be off guard mode and attack them. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. We did get a bit of a charge from the Hetai Roy. That's never good. But that's fine. Um, anyone else that we want to really engage here? Probably just those Hetai Roy, but looks like they're already uh, goners. So let's get you all off guard mode, attacking the Royal Peltasts. Oh my god, they just routed. All of these boys just literally just routed. Well, that's good for us. Not the hardest battle ever against such elite troops. But you can only you can only fight what's put against you guys, can't you? You can only fight what's put against you. I'm just doing this just to make sure they don't come back and be annoying, like much of the cavalry has done. So you guys get there. Where's our cavalry? We're up here. So we're engaged with the Royal Peltas here. What do we have here? Just you, Zonoi? Well, get your phalanx down, guys. Should be nice and easy. Ah, that's not a good... That's not good. Everyone get your phalanx down and now attack them. And then I want you guys to go after those boys. Cavalry-wise, let's get round the back and let's see what we can do against these phalangites. Well, we've got ourselves in some relatively decent positions here. But uh, we're going to go for the charge through and charge at the last moment. Basically so that they can't turn around. So that the AI can't micro. They managed to micro well enough, actually. Oof. Jesus. Oof. That's not what we wanted. Look at that general. How we survived that, I will never know. God, the AI is just so ridiculous at that. It's kind of crazy. Um, we are fighting this Chalka Speeders pretty well. So let's go and surround them. Let's also get a, get a charge in there too. Let's see if this works. I don't know whether it will. They'll probably turn around again. But I think these guys are going to be easier to break than anyone else. These guys are struggling off guard mode over here, honestly. There we go. We broke them at least. So that's going to allow us now to get these boys and uh, get behind here. You guys can go after them. You guys can go after the Uzona. I don't think they're going to survive much longer. You guys too. And then hopefully surrounding these guys will be enough to kill them. But uh, I guess we'll find out. Well, here we go. All that's left is the Agima. Everyone else is in there. They're all off. They're all... Oh, what's going on here? Oh, the 304 are fine. That's fine. There we go. No one else to charge down. We don't need to chase anyone down because remember, as soon as they're routing... That's good. Looks like the Agima is going to die. Look at them go. Oh, I'm willing to just watch this. This is glorious. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, 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 very nice. Very nice, my friends. Well, let's end the battle there. Glorious. We did take a lot of losses, but it was a very elite army, wasn't it?
Well, a glorious little turn that has been. Let's make sure we retrain all these guys. We'll swap in some troops so we're not retraining every single person. There we go. Glorious. So that should be enough. Fantastic. Very nice. Indeed. This army's nearly ready to go now. Couple more turns. And we'll be good. Fantastic. We've got that one up there. Let's see what we want to do with our money then. I don't think we're going to be able to build much this turn, honestly. Um, what are you? Yeah. Don't think we're going to be able to build much. But, um, yeah, let's focus on some of the unhappy regions. Let's do it based on um, happiness. So, public order. Go down to the bottom. They're actually all building. Igeon over here is a little bit unhappy, but nothing we can build. Baroya 2 is a little bit unhappy, but is there anything worth building here? In fact, there is. The highways. Let's have a look at what that brings. Not a huge amount, but it's not too bad. Uh, it re... Uh, organizes itself. Dasareta Polis up here then. Let's go for that to get some extra growth in the city. Argos, yeah, we don't we don't need we don't need to worry about Argos, bro. Not investing in Argos. <laughs> Hiskana, let's also do the same thing. Dimale over here, probably not worth anything. Uh Acanthos, let's see Dioscuri's not worth it. Pella definitely worth building in Pella. Also, that devastation, 500 gold. When that's all gone because we've killed the rebels, we are going to be in a much better position with Pella. It's already making 4,300, but when all that devastation is gone, it's going to be 5,000. It's going to be very rich, which will be really, really good. So um, let's end the turn there, guys. Glorious. Well, another governor. He is 30, but I think it's worth taking that. So Admetos, he's all the way up here in Philippoi. Not the place I would actually choose for him, to be fair. But uh, do we have any good places for garrisons around here that could be worth it? Well, Ferai for one, but it's not exactly a rich settlement. None of these are because they are recruitment settlements over anything. So Corinth would definitely be one that we want to get him in. It's a long way away, my friend, but uh, enjoy your journey down there. Shouldn't take too long. <laughs> we do have more civil disorder. Idava all the way up in the north. Yeah, that's... Yeah, they're under siege now, though. So that's fine. <laughs> these guys should be happy next turn. And this should be happy next turn too. So that's fine. Adrissians are just... Honestly, the Adrissians are just annoying. Like, <laughs> they're, they're not fun. They're just annoying. They're just like sieging everything with one or two troops. Statue in the Agora. Get, Pyrrhos gets a statue in the Agora. Where's that? Was that a trait or a retinue? That must be a trait. Let's have a look. Fa famous general. It'll be because of that, won't it? That's really cool. He's got lots of lots of things now. He's a stratahos, meaning army leader. Uh, in the Hellenistic world, this term was also used to describe a military governor. This man has achieved a high honor and now can commands an entire army. Very good. Stratahos staff as well. Punisher. Draftsman. Despondent general. Many years away from home are starting to erode this general's native values and discipline to a severe extent. He continues to complain, but is getting frustrated by seeing that n nothing seems to change. Ah, well, you're a victor, bro. You're a famous general. What do, what do you think you'll be doing, bro? This man has been recognized as a great Olympic warrior. As a result, many at home have come to call him a benefactor for the common good. In gratitude and at public expense, a Parian marble statue of him has been placed in the Agora. In addition, one of the best seats is always reserved for him in the theatre or at the games. Well, glorious. Very nice. But um, I think you're going to have to go further away from home. <laughs> Let's get off the boats. Let's go for Polyrenia. That Polyrenia, I believe, is the one that borders Kythera. So if we take it, they shouldn't want to take... Uh, they shouldn't want to take Kythera anymore, which will be good. And that will allow us now, then, to actually build in Kythera, which is quite a decent settlement. Do you have any corruption? No, you have devastation. How? How are you gaining devastation? Where are these rebels, bro? Where are these rebels? Is it the guys just off the shore? That's so strange. Oh, well. That's fine, though. 
Uh, right, Leprion. Leprion then, I think we need to keep on spamming out archers. So that we can send them across as garrisons over here. You have got another archer though, which we can send into there. Uh, which is good. These guys are going to have to get dealt with at some point. I should have done that before on the auto-resolve, but, um, I, I, yeah. Maybe I forgot, guys. <laughs> I just didn't think about it, did I? Right, all of these guys can join up with this Admiral. Admiral Lysippos. Uh, you too. Anyone else? Yeah, that's fine. Because we are going on a, not a long, long journey, but a relatively long journey. How far can you get? Hmm. I think we wait a turn then. Let's get uh, Alexander back off the boats then. Let's wait a turn and see if we can actually just get on there. Then we'll jump off here and then we'll go for Syracuse. Just in case we get killed at sea. That would be a terrible way for Alexander to go, wouldn't it, my friends? <laughs> that really would be bad. Apuus has upgraded now to a large town. Glorious. You can get a, one of those. That's going to bring you 400 gold. Very nice indeed. That's what we like to see, my friends. Very, very good. Right. This army should now be retrained. So, all good? Yes, fine. What do we want to do with this army then? We've got an army over here going after the Seleucids. I think it would be good to go up to Bessapara. Because uh, we've got this army in the north. And we just want to push them back from... And this is obviously rightful Greek land, my friends. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, glorious. Let's go with that. We've also done all our training that, that turn, haven't we? I don't think we'll be long off getting another army here then. Let's get another Athamanian. Who are you? You're going around there. Fantastic. You're getting archers then. You guys, let's keep on going with these boys. For Nike 2. Actually, no. You go for an Athamanian because we've got a lot of guys already. Uh, we need to take that. Then send you back to Fenike or go after Antipatreia. First things first, though, we need to get rid of the Seleucids here. Um, but let's do our building, guys. This army's very, re very, very nearly ready to go. Do we wait a turn for that? I think we do. I think we cancel the Paeonians there. We can get them here instead. Uh, glorious. Well, we're going to be pumping out Thracian armies like No Tomorrow 2, which is going to be amazing. So let's do our building. Fenike over this way. Let's go for the Shrine to Dioscuri here. Get those guys some more experience. Pasaron over here can get the next blacksmith level. It's not really worth it, though, is it? Can also get highways, which it's not rich enough for that. But we do need grain imports to keep on growing this city. So we'll get them. Kaikiros, you can get the next Temple of Aphrodite. Let's go for that one. Dodona, 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 Mona, Lona, Dodona, Jobo, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's leave Dodona. Let's get that in Ferai. Ferai Pithiatides. Let's also get some baths. Although, Ferai, aren't you a recruitment hub? You are. So, let's just go. Uh, well, we do want to expand you to the next level so we can get elites here. Lucas, that has been our main issue, really, that in this whole campaign, guys, in terms of the cam campaign map and the economy. It's growing the cities that we need to. Like, it's, it's very, very difficult, especially when you're recruiting from them. Um, Lucas over here is quite a rich little city. Let's go for Dionysus. Demetrius is also relatively rich now, so let's go for Dionysus there, too. Falana doesn't have a governor. That's fine. Let's just get that extra happiness. Tricker. Uh, Tricker, not that rich. <laughs> Let's also just get some more happiness. Iginion over this way. Um, again, not that rich. Let's go for that Temple of Aphrodite then. Bokiria over here. I want to build in some of the Thracian lands ideally, but I don't think we'll do it this turn. Probably next turn. Uh, Akanthos. Let's have a look. Hmm. Yeah, Akanthos is very rich, so... What would the highways, for example, bring? Not enough, because it's all sea trade. Yeah, look at that sea trade. 
So it's mainly growth we want here, but uh, at the minute it's fine. So we'll leave that for now. Nothing really worth building there then. Thessalonica, again, very rich, and it is a large city. So the Great Agora does strike me as the option here. Let's go for that. 169 from a Great Agora. That is not a lot. Um, Demale, again, nothing worth building there. Lycnidos is actually relatively good, but that's fine. Tarona over here on the island. Not the island, the Fingers. Let's go for Temple of Dionysus. Marina over this way. Where is Marina? Oh, Marina's actually in Minor City now. So let's build up some public baths. Imbros is, of course, forever upset. That's fine. Stimbara out here. Let's go for that. Heraclea, Lincestis, nothing worth building there. Cassandrea. Oh, wasn't it recruitment time? We, we did recruit everything, though, right? Yeah, we did. That, that, that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need to panic. It's all fine. Although Thermon, I think we can do that, too. Same with Leprion. Basically, just so we've got governors for over here. Weren't we going to build... When that's done, we were going to build a recruitment hub. We are building it there. Let's build another one, say, maybe at Pautalia. Oh, we do have one at Pautalia. Good. Let's pop in some Thracian Slingers, then. They can be our garrisons from now on. That will be good. And they're also a decent unit, after all. But I think we're going to end it there, guys. A glorious little episode. We've uh, beaten back armies that we've uh, we've wanted to. We've not really expanded, have we? But we've kind of just done a bit of housekeeping. Next episode, we will go and do that battle. We will take this one. And we will take Cesarethos as well. So that's going to be a glorious little fight. Then we'll take that. Then we'll take Marinea. And then we will trade those with the GCS for peace, hopefully. Whether or not that happens or not, I don't know. But that is the hope anyway, guys. So uh, I will see you on the next episode, guys. If you did enjoy, please a like and subscribe would really help us out. And I will see you all on the next video.